My name is Sahira, and I'm here to teach you the beautiful art of belly dance. So today, we're going to take those four sounds. They are the basic, the clack, the tick, and the cross-handed ring. So the way our pattern is going to work so far, it's going to be one E and a two, three E and a four, triple it one and three E and a four. Let's break it down by parts. There's really three counting ideas, three little patterns that repeat, and then there's that triple it one and, which is a little bit different. So the part that repeats the most is one E and a two, that concept. Then we do three E and a four, it's the exact same thing. It just happens later in the measure. One E and a two, three E and a four, and then later on after the triplet, we do another three E and a four. All those are our 16th notes. I think there's five of them. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. So nice and slow, let's talk through how we're going to do this with the sounds. We are going to do the basic stroke, and we're gonna end on a clack. Bass, 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 clack. Bass, 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 clack. Bass, 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 clack, right? That's how we're gonna play it. So the other part of the pattern is that triplet one and, yeah, so we worked on the triplet one, that, that, that flip or those four strokes, and we did tick, 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 and then we are going to go from there into a basic. So the triplet one is going to be all ticks, yeah, so we're going tick, 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 tick. I am starting on my right, and I'm going right, left, right, left. You could start on your left and do the opposite. Right, left, right, left. That's our four strokes. And then I'm going to sit, play one basic. Because I just landed on my left with that last tick, I'm going to do the basic on my right. Right? So it's triple it one and that ring or that basic is on the upbeat, on the and. So we're going to count it like this. Seven, eight, triple it one and. Triple it one and, triple it one and, one more time. Now, let's put the whole thing together, right? So if I'm going to speak the whole thing, and I highly encourage you to try saying it because I'm a firm believer of if you can say it, you can play it. Easier to talk it than play it for sure. So if we say it together, just the count, it's going to be this. One E and a two, three E and a four, triple it one and, three E and a four. Again, one E and a two. 3E and a 4, triple it 1 and, 3E and a 4, again, 1E e and a 2, 3E and a 4, triple it 1 and, 3E and a 4, one more time, 1E e and a 2, 3E and a 4, triple it 1 and, 3E and a 4. Yeah, let's try putting it together. Take a nice deep breath. You've got this. Feel free to do it. Standing still, I will then add some marking with my body, perhaps some arms. Feel free to dance with it if you're feeling so inclined. Six, seven, eight. It's face, 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 back. Face, 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 back. Tick, 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 tick. Face, 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 again. How did that go? It's challenging to start moving with it, yes? Because our body is not doing what our finger symbols are doing, yet. We'll be adding movements, dance movements, that emulate the zills a little bit more, but at no point in time are we going to be doing da-da-da-da-da, uh, uh, da-da-da-da, uh, like it's, it's not gonna happen. We're not gonna dance like that because it's a little strange, honestly. And so we'll always be doing something that fits within the same sort of time signature within the same tempo, but we're not necessarily going to be matching every stroke of our zills 
with our bodies, same as when we dance to music. We don't match every single note, every single drum beat to what our body is doing. And so that's when it becomes a little bit challenging, right? Because our body right now is just ticking away one, two, three, four. That's all it's doing. What we're playing on the zills fits right within that, but it's not the exact same thing. So when you're adding things, here's the order you want to think about adding them in. Add something that is not rhythmic first, something that's smooth. A really good example is just like, circular arms. We don't have to necessarily worry like eight counts up, eight counts down. You could do that. It's a good challenge, but you don't have to. If you do something really smooth, you're just, you're moving, right? You're moving and that's the whole thing. Or maybe you just walk with no particular rhythm. <laughs> that's also great, right? Because you're already layering. But if you don't worry about making it something particularly rhythmic, then it doesn't feel like it's uh, two different rhythmic ideas going on in your head. Once you feel comfortable with something smooth and legato, then I invite you to add something that has a little bit more rhythm to it, like this kind of step touch we're doing. Because when I do this, I'm doing it on one, two, three, four. So now my feet are kind of a metronome for what's going on. Here's another hint as well. Feel free to turn on music as you practice this. A lot of my students find that music, because it kind of keeps the tempo, your music is going to be chucking along, and it's doing one, two, three, four underneath, and you feel that bass beat, you feel it going. That might help you kind of keep that tempo in your body and then concentrate more on the finger symbols and the pattern there, as opposed to trying to think one tempo here and another here, the music may help lead you. So feel free to practice it in all those ways. Like I said, while this is ultimately kind of an acapella zill riff, I like to think about it, you can totally do this with music as well and it'll work great. It was so much fun making music with you today. If you would like to continue your finger symbol journey, I invite you to join my free finger symbol jumpstart designed to give you the solid foundation that you need for total rock star zilling. You can find it now at sahirabellydances.com slash zillstar. I can't wait to make music with you there.